Hey guys, in this video I will attempt to refinish this beautiful old table. I will be trying just about every trick I've seen to get it looking fab again, but it's not what I was expecting. Oh my god, once again it's blotchy. I'm just so defeated. Perhaps the table is punishing me. Will I finish it or quit before it's all done? Well, sort of. You'll have to watch to decide for yourself. I recently got this dining table for my little workspace. I especially love the legs and it turns out it was the perfect size for this space. I was worried it was going to be too big, but it's just right. The base is fine, but the top has some water damage on it. I've never restored a table, so I'm nervous but excited. I'm going to start by determining what's the best way to get rid of this old finish. I tried scraping but felt the lacquer was too hard for that. It wasn't one of those really old finishes that just crumbles off. Someone had refinished this table already, so I decided to see how paint stripper would work. I was pretty happy with the result, but I ran out of the one I normally use, so I needed to get some more. Turns out my local hardware store only had one brand of paint stripper, but it did say eco on the cover, so I got it. This new stuff was so bad. It had the strongest odor, and even though it said that it was safe to use indoors, I really felt it was not. Anyways, I thought it's gotta be really effective, but the results were terrible. I was so disappointed. I don't ever want to use that stuff indoors again. So I went to another hardware store and got the brand I like to use. It's so gentle and doesn't stink at all. At this point I also decided that with all the toxic chemicals I was using, I wasn't going to refinish the base at this time. Since this top was looking so blotchy and it had at least one severe water stain, I bought some oxalic acid. It was not easy finding that here, but I managed to get some from a pharmacy. The veneer was bubbling where the worst water damage was, so I tried to reactivate the old glue by ironing the spot. This is something I've seen others do on YouTube with good results. I could tell right away that that was not going to happen here and I was going to need to glue it back. The biggest problem was still the blotchiness, so I decided to try and lighten the wood with some household bleach. It did work a little bit, but I was really struggling and the surface was still looking so blotchy and so ugly. So when I went to the pharmacy to buy the oxalic acid, I also asked for medical needles, since I've seen people use them on YouTube to get the glue under the old veneer. Let me tell you, it's not easy to get needles here. Under the EU laws, you can buy them if you have a prescription for medicine that needs to be used with a syringe. However, in unclear circumstances, the pharmacists can use his or her own judgment. I just felt like the next serial killer in the making asking for these toxic substances and syringes. He was really nice though, and once I explained what I need them for, he agreed to sell them to me. The last thing he said was just be careful to not hurt yourself with the needle. I didn't want him to stress and wanted to put him at ease, so I told him, oh, don't worry, I sew a lot, so I'm really used to needles, that will not happen. Well, let me tell you, I ended up stabbing myself in the finger with this, and quite hard. I wanted to wash the needle in case I ever need to glue veneer again. I don't want to have to go back for more needles. So I rinsed it, and as I was shaking the water out, sure enough, I managed to get myself... My finger was sore for a few days, but more than that, I was just convinced this project was out to get me in every single step. I'm usually very impatient, but I let the glue dry overnight and was really nervous to see the result. It wasn't a total disaster, and with this project I'll take that. I'm not a fan of two-tone tables, but I will live with this to see if I like the top, and when summer comes, I will refinish the base outside if I like the lighter look. To get the surface lighter and more even, I bought white stain. The instructions said to brush it on and wipe it back immediately, so I did that, but it was turning out so uneven. So I diluted the stain and tried to use that. Nothing worked in this restoration. Now it looked better on camera, but blotchier in person. 
I was so ready and excited at every new step, but this table just took it out of me. I felt like I failed every step. You know, when you watch the pros do it, I guess you get the feel it's going to be smooth sailing if you just follow the steps. I just kept failing and failing. At this point I took the cardboard off the floor just to feel like I was getting somewhere and there was going to be an end to this project. I have failed every step, like every step has been a disaster and so is the stain. Once again it's blotchy and it's too opaque. I'm just so defeated. I did not enjoy any part of this. I don't know why everything went so badly. I'm just hoping to get it to some sort of finish. I think perhaps the table is punishing me for making it whitewashed. I'm not going to be making any more tables. Even after several light coats of the white stain and sanding in between and the top still looking so blotchy, I decided to mix up some acrylic paints and just go over the worst spots with it. And there was a lot. But if there's something I know, it's mixing colors. And this step was one of the only that I felt was working for me and not against me. After this, the surface looked a lot better and I was somewhat relieved. I was so happy with my patchwork that to get the top less blotchy and the tone better, I mixed up some more acrylic paint and made a paint wash. That made the surface look a lot more even. I was happy with the result or maybe I just lowered my expectations. It was looking just a bit too yellow though, so I made another wash with the acrylics, this time a bit more reddish in tone and applied that everywhere. At this point it was far from perfect, but I felt it wasn't going to be any better. For the last step I put hard wax on the surface. Like almost all of the techniques in this project, I've never waxed any furniture before, but I wanted to keep the natural feel. I applied the wax, waited for three hours and then buffed it out with a cloth. And I was so relieved that this project was finally over. this video what did you think in the end i'm happy with the results if you liked it please consider subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching